Bonsoir. Good evening, Canada. Yeah. I'm from America. Please don't hold that against me. Uh, in the event that we decide to invade another country, this time I'm definitely Canadian. You guys hear so many weird things from America. It must surprise you and shock you. Because Americans are always saying things that there's not that much proof for. You hear us say things like, uh, we're number one. <laughs> There's not that really that much evidence that we're number one. In fact, I think the rest of the world perceives this more like a giant number two. <laughs> we're number one in some things. We're number one in obesity. Uh, we're number one in, and that's without Tim Hortons. <laughs> we're number one in <laughs> mood elevators, and we're number one in handgun deaths. So it's not like we're great shots, it's just that if you fire off a clip, you're bound to hit some giant depressed heifer heading somewhere. <laughs> Our president is doing a great job and he's enormously popular right now. He's just slightly more popular than testicular cancer right about this time. In fact, testicular cancer is more popular in some places because it's a great way to drop some weight before the summer's over. <laughs> Bush is always rattling on about 9-11. 9-11 changed everything, 9-11 changed everything. Well, one thing it changed was the amount of bullshit we'd accept from our government, from some to infinite. <laughs> We're always letting W meet other world leaders. That is such a great idea on paper. And then he actually meets the other world leaders. I'm always waiting for one of them to go, could I talk to someone in charge? <laughs> I didn't know you were going to send the Walmart assistant manager. Sure, you can talk to someone in charge. He's lying over here on a gurney with a defibrillator stuck inside him. I'll go wake him up for you. I got him on the clapper. Clap on, Mr. Cheney, clap on. <laughs> Dick Cheney is doing such a great job as president. And what I love most about Dick Cheney is his fake window of health. Because he's what, like two green smarties away from having his aorta congeal into a hockey puck and just fire out his ass? He's half a plate of poutine away from having a dwarf stand on his chest and just pound lard into his aorta. He gets deep vein thrombosis if he walks up like one stair, you know? And yet every six weeks or so, he's healthy enough, they drag him out from under the White House, prop him up in front of a camera, and he goes, rump, hogwash, balderdash, and poppycock, tommy trot. <laughs> Bill Clinton, who was uh, president of the United States briefly during the peace and prosperity scare of the mid-90s, <laughs> received the gift, the boon, the bane, the benison, the endowment, if you will, the bestowment, let's call it, of Filatio. <laughs> Which I think a lot of the fellows here will agree is the most sought after gift of all. <laughs> we might say we want a wallet. We're just giving you a chance to shop. <laughs> For this, he was pilloried. In fact, we had a trial over Bill Clinton's Filatio. Do you think any other country in the world would be this adolescent about sexuality? Do you think if the Prime Minister of France received Filatio, they'd have a trial? Au contraire. A parade at the very least. <laughs> oh, he got the Hummer, huh? Yeah. So now you know, eh? Now he is relaxed, he can govern properly, no? Was it a woman? Well, wow, très bien. <laughs> now you know he is not le fanet, eh? It's almost two years until our next election in America, and we already have 21 people running for president. Again, that speaks to W's enormous popularity right now. <laughs> we have a black man running for president in our country. And uh, he's articulate, well-spoken, and has written two books. Our president, after six years, still can't pronounce the word nuclear. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the black guy who's read and written two books. I hear things about Barack Obama that I can't believe. On TV, I heard a guy go, he's not that black. <laughs> How black do you want him to be? You want him to come bumping through the hood in a super sport, pumping too short, jump out with a pair of baggy pants on and a gold tooth and sideways baseball hat and a rock chain, smoking a blunt, texting people and beating on hoes? Is that what would make white, fat, pork rind-eating America comfortable? 
We have a woman running for president, and that scares America to death. A woman? Well, she's got a uterus and a brain. <laughs> There's all these reasons they give about a woman can't be president. But yet you never hear the opposite about any of the other people, the other 20 men running. You never hear a man. <laughs> I couldn't vote for a man. They're out of control. <laughs> Oh, there's all these reasons why Hillary can't and shouldn't and won't and oughtn't. My favorite one is they always say things like, well, Hillary Clinton's divisive. <laughs> yeah. And W brought us all together. <laughs> it took six years, but we're all on the same page now. <laughs> Thank you very much and good night, ladies and gentlemen. And you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, sir, with the sleeves rolled up. You wore the wrong shirt. <laughs> You should have worn a short sleeve shirt. You underestimated indoor night heat. Step it up, buddy. Really, I want to be so rich that when I say, yo, brother, what's up? I'm not saying hello, I'm asking, what are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs>